There was a time when resources seemed endless. Hmm. But in 2030, the great energy crisis began. With hardly any resources left on our world, global powers created the World Space Agency to look beyond the Earth for answers. <clears throat> the answer was found in Helium-3, a powerful isotope discovered in abundance on the Moon. With it, humanity could satisfy its energy demand for decades to come. And so, in 2032, mankind colonized the Moon. Spearheaded by the Lunar Council, the WSA constructed several permanent settlements to harvest and process Helium-3. The resulting energy was transferred to Earth through a revolutionary energy network, the Microwave Power Transmission, or MPT. For a time, all seemed well. Then, one fateful night in 2054, the lights went out. No energy. Uh-oh. The MPT had gone offline, and communication with the lunar colonist was lost. Without earthly resources to launch a full-scale rescue mission to the moon, the World Space Agency was shut down permanently in 2055. But a small group of former WSA colonists refused to accept humanity's bleak future. Determined to discover the colony's fate and to restore the MPT, they've been preparing their mission in an abandoned desert launch facility. Now, in 2059, they are ready to launch an astronaut to the moon. What awaits is unknown and unforeseeable, but the mission is clear. Deliver us. The moon. Woo. All right, we're playing Deliver Us the Moon. Let's fucking get into it. Friends and family of the missing lunar colonists gather all around the world tonight in remembrance of the 2054 MPT blackout that resulted in a global power outage and the loss of contact with the lunar colony. The blackout caused global turmoil which ultimately led to the closure of the World Space Agency one year later. In other news, the recent formation of the largest dust storm on record has prompted climatologists to readjust their forecast of the equatorial desert's growth rate. As a result of the new storm, the desert could soon cover 30% of the globe's land mass. Several governments have pledged support for oh, refugees shit, I mean, right. despite reports of resource shortages. The dust storm is expected Whoa. to hit residential Fucking zones between please. the northern 49th and 50th latitude lines by late afternoon and pass over the World Space yeah. Agency's former MPT ground station in the Adirao Desert. Authorities have imposed a mandatory evacuation of the impacted areas. For countries north of the equatorial desert, temperatures are expected to be a mild 46 degrees Celsius. This was Nicole Tate for World News 1, Spice September stuff. 16, 2059. Wishing you a safe and happy day. Katrina, are you there? Yeah. Yeah, bitch. Turn that shit off. <laughs> Ground control to Fortuna One. This I'm is Claire. I'm a space dude. Please confirm radio contact. Oh no! You now have to fix it. R3? 
front fucking line. Sorry. <laughs> I'll check it on the way. Fuck. Oh, what's that? Okay, there we go. Three, five, four, eight. Fuck yeah, we're in. Light up on this bitch. Come on. How do you. Oh, wait, hang on. Can I? Yeah. That's a boat. Close both fuel valves. Why? I gotta go down and get that staircase. Come on. Run you fat fuck, run! Go, 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 go! Fucking go. Rocket navigation systems online. Shit. We're nearly there. It's just like your training. You can do this. Initiate launch procedure. Okay. Oh, I'm gonna fucking press. <laughs> oh, fuck. I'm assuming. Oh, so I just gotta flick these. Ground launch yeah. sequencer started. Fuck, I'm an expert. Orbital axis arm retracting. Be a little more careful. Oh. Perfect, just like we've practiced. Yep, I guess. Do I gotta click all these fucking things on? Wait, I've got to do it in a sequence? 
Why the fuck are they... Oh, never mind, they tell me. A1, A3, B3 and B4. So A1... B3 and then B4. Why did I fuck it up? <laughs> I fucked it up. It's A1, A3, and then it's B3. Wait, yeah, B3 and then B4, not A4, you fucking idiot. Auxiliary power unit booting up. Okay, what now? Launch. Gaseous oxygen vent on and on safely in place. Okay. Quickly release, quickly release all valves. Oh. We've got like cameras and shit. What now? Initiate hydrogen burn off. I don't know. Do I have to just do all of them? And then, was it this? Hydrogen burn off system activated. Rocket boosters ready for ignition. Yeah. Sending life a countdown. Oh. Is that it? I don't know. Ready, ready, okay, sorry. Rocket boosters, ignition start. Engines ready in five, okay. four, Here we three, fucking go. Two, start. We're on, boys. We have lift off. Fuck yeah, we do. We're fucking off. It's Jeff Bezos flying dildo and fucking going to the moon. Fuck yeah, it has. So now what? Oh, I can use it again. Okay, the torch. Back online, it could restore the hope humanity lost after the lunar colony fell. Mm -hmm. We could recover, rebuild, and most of all, start thinking about a future. Oh. You'll need to find the empty transmitter at the Pearson space station. From there, the power signal was relayed to Earth. This was the final link in the MPT network before the blackout. Oh. If there are answers to find, they're at Pearson, clear. We need to head down to the shelter. Jesus. These winds are getting bad. Understood. For Tuna One, this storm is going to jam radio contact. You'll be alone for a while. So yep. reach the for the best. Must... Stick it here in your voice. One, two, and three. Give it a second in stage of the law. Please, deliver us the loop. Cut off main engine. Yeah. <sighs> Yeah, we did it. You go, Jeff Bezos. Fuck, do it. Deliver us, Jeff Bezos. Let's do it. Fuck yeah, we did it.
Okay. Um, yeah, fucking pretty cool. See you in the next. Uh, see you in the next episode. Like and subscribe as always. Uh, much appreciated. Bye.